Chart of the Week with Redmain Bentley. You're listening to financialradio.co.uk. My name is Giles McMullen, chatting to Bill Rook from Redmain Bentley. Bill, we're only looking at one chart this week, but mm. it's an important one, VIX. It's a measure of volatility, and it's yeah. gone through the roof recently, hasn't it? Yeah, it's, it's often been also referred to as the index of fear. Uh, and you can see most, when most of the uh, small investors take flight, that it goes to its highs. And uh, you could have made a point of saying, well, VIX was very high in September, and it indeed it was, but I don't think many people thought it would go this high. Um, but Am I right in past, saying that yes, it's, it's a record high? Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, as far as my record goes, I mean, I've got the, I've got the spider um, on the graph here. Uh, does go, I mean, I suppose data is on the, on the S&P goes back down to 57, but the spider, which is the ETF of the... Uh, the S&P 500 goes back on the chart I've got here about 98 and, it, and what I've done is uh, highlighted with a hoop at the bottom end on the green area as to when the uh, VIX has gone near the 40 levels and then historically in the past when you marry those up with the chart above you get a, a reasonable idea that there might be a bounce in the market in fact there has always been a bounce although belated in 2002 it came out in 2003 of the bounce, but we can see that there's uh, a chance to value buy at this sort of level, and that's where I think we're in that sort of zone of, of value buying. So you think that prices have now, I won't say bottomed, I know it's very difficult mm. to, to pick, I think pick bottom the bottom, but you, you think you're, if you buy now, you're, you're getting a good price? I think so. I mean, I mean, there are different criteria now to people say using a high yield and making sure that the uh, dividend payments are probably more reliable than most, and I mean, some of the banks won't be paying dividends, and as we as we know, they'll never probably be paying a script and things. So you have to be very careful what you're buying. Just looking back at the chart, one of the other important indicators is the new is the new high to low ratio, which is at the top of the chart there. And, and again, in all those instances where the VIX has been very high, um, has has been um, this new high to low ratio has been very very uh, low. So it has all the trappings of of something going on there. Um, and next week we're going to look at hopefully the recessions and the impact of a recession on the market and uh, how to play the market with the recession side. But um, as it stands at the moment, with the volatility high, this is a time to go shopping, looking for quality, looking for those shares which have been battered, um, and possibly uh, on a collective basis rather than individual shares, but looking for a good yield because I think uh, uh, there are some bargains out there. You mentioned about recession and, uh, and you know, I suppose the uh, consensus view is that we're heading to uh, into a recession next year. The only question is yeah. how, how bad is it going to be? How easy yeah. is it to make money in a recession? It is, it, when, once you've got a bottom of the market, it's probably one of the easiest times ever because the market preempts this and just starts rallying well before the rece- we're at recession. So uh, I, on the basis that interest rates are cut savagely, and that's something else we look at is the impact of interest rates coming off and, uh, and, um, and the economy being stoked up in the hope that we can avert uh, anything else that's going to be very, very bad. So um, I don't know. I, I think actually the idea that uh, we should run, take flight from these situations is, uh, is, is not quite, is, is not so good. It, well, it, it's, it's not the right, it's not the correct impression um, or, or the impression which should be adopted to that of what can I do in the market. And sometimes in the marketplace reflects other things going on. The market's always looking forward. And I think the market was discounting a recovery. And as you said, that sort of, uh, if it starts thinking, well, the recession is less than it, it's less severe than it's going to be, uh, then then there's uh, a generally we can expect quite uh, a sharp rally in equity prices, as we've seen in the last six recessions, actually. Precisely. But the, only, the, the difference here, though, the big difference here is we have an asset class which is going to be unwound, namely the uh, house prices. And there's sort of some people argue that uh, this might take some time to unwind with all the debt associated with it as well. So there is that uh, school of thought behind that. Going back to the VIX um, bill and yeah. the volatility that we've been seeing, which yes. the, the VIX is a measure of, yeah. how difficult has it been for you, for your um, the, the traders that you know, um, to trade through that oh, period? Cool. It's awful. You can't trade. You can't trade when the volatility is, is, is the killer in the market. You can't gauge. You, you want to. You want to buy. One of the key things is to buy when there's no volatility around, and that's in buying quality when there's no volatility. It's one of the things that it, it can waste into all sorts of uh, years' profits. And, uh, it, it's, it's terrible. I mean, sort of. Um, you, you can't trade when the, when the things are swinging around very fast. You, there's, there's no way you can get a handle on that unless you're going to day trade. 
and as we said earlier, I think that the uh, that the price of trading options or, or a shorter term um, instruments becomes much pricier, uh, and it, uh, it it makes it very uh, difficult to, to to make a profit on those things. Bill, thank you very much uh, for chatting through your um, your charts uh, with us today. We were looking at VIX, which is a measure of volatility. Next week, we're going to be looking at how to profit from a recession. Bill, as always, a pleasure talking to you. Pleasure, Charles. Chart of the Week with Redmain Bentley.